So we were just talking off camera. We've been trying to line up shipping prices to get our car shipped from here to Denver and then from Las Vegas home because we're going to do a crown route or a rally this summer with my car, CJ's GTR, and then we're going to bring our SEMA truck with. So I had this guy quote us a price to bring him to Denver and then home from Vegas. Fifteen thousand oh, okay. dollars. I guess that's there and home from Vegas. Fifteen thousand dollars. No, it's too much, but I wasn't even putting that in I don't know why. I just wasn't thinking about the shipping back thing. So that that is probably a pretty true rate, but that is steep. It makes sense at five dollars a gallon for diesel. Yeah. And that's what he said. He yeah. was like, if that's you would have done it a year ago, it would have been seventy five hundred dollars. But because of where we're at right now with fuel prices, I can't do it for any less. And I was like, Hey man, I don't I'm not holding like that price against you. I'm just like looking it's at it. It's a lot it. of money. It's a lot of money for one, one video, video and to justify that just to get our cars there, that mm-hmm. doesn't include, you know, everything Fuel, else that goes with it. Food, all that. I was like, oh man, that's uh It'd be like a twenty two thousand dollar video and it I mean it'd be a lot of fun. It would maybe it, be two videos, but that still wouldn't it wouldn't be like a crazy video like oh, it'd be crazy. I mean, it wouldn't go crazy like the yeah. SEMA truck duct tape tires. Like, that right. was four grand, which was an investment, but we knew that would kind of go viral. Right. So then when you go to the drawing board with that much money, basically, if you go to the drawing board with 15K, we can do a lot at home mm-hmm. or on our own mm-hmm. with that. And not put 4,000 miles on Ben's Lamborghini. I don't know. I've never been on one of those rallies. It seems like you must have to have like an exotic kind of to be even a part of it. They're pretty expensive to be on. The thing about most of the people that do those rallies is they're actually rich. <laughs> He's like, probably like, what do you mean? You got a Lambo. What's another 15 grand? But it's different for us because like we buy things like Lambos as in like a construction worker buys a new truck or a skid steer. Yeah. Like it's a yep. utility. Like no buddy who's going to mess around in their yard with like limited amounts of money buys a brand new skid steer. But homie who's doing dirt work buys a brand new skid steer. It's like a tool. Yeah, I'm not. I don't have as much money as most people that own but Lamborghinis. Lamborghinis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm like, that's a lot of money, man. If you're watching this right now and you have an enclosed trailer and you think you could bring two nice cars, not a shitty enclosed trailer. Imagine, I, I don't want a, you just throwing these in like a snowmobile trailer. I think we want someone with insurance too. Yeah, I might as go as far as hey, if you transport cars, nice cars for a living, and you think you could beat that rate, hit us up. It'd be great here to Denver. And then Vegas to here. It yeah. was it was fifteen k for three vehicles. That's yeah. true. We also had the same. That's a dues though. I that drive back from Vegas to mm-hmm. all the way to Cormorant. I mean, it's a long drive. Yeah, because we were like, well, what if we just did it? Uh, somebody drove the SEMA truck, and then we didn't have somebody transport it. We put Evan in the SEMA truck. <laughs> Can you imagine how many tickets we'd probably rack up fifteen thousand dollars worth of tickets between here and Vegas and back. No, nope, I kidding. think he'd. I think he'd go back to removing asbestos after that. Like, <laughs> yeah, that, I, I, don't I think can't imagine that many tickets. I, feel I don't like think as soon as you either, got out of here, you'd be fine. I, I hopefully yeah, between rolling. here and Cormorant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get it's like three, grand worth once you get out of between our shop and Cormorant, coast is clear. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much the truth, but yeah. You know what I think might be the biggest gold mine ever? Menards. Mm. Go into Menards and don't walk out of there spending like $300. It's impossible. You go there and you buy literally two things and it's like, yep, that'll be 500 The dude checking out in front of me bought like freaking, he had a bunch of wood and stuff, but he's like, yeah, that'll be 9000 some dollars. Swipes the car. I'm like, holy shit, dude, just dropped nine grand in Menards on like a Tuesday. <laughs> Bought 15 uh, two by fours yeah right? exactly bought a sheet of plywood every time i go into menards and i'm walking down the down the alleys i get this basically anytime i go to like that kind of store but i'm like all right i feel like i need something but Same. i don't write anything down mm-hmm. and then i get home and and i'm like fuck i was just at menards i should have bought this or do something like that no. does that happen to you guys too all the time yeah, yeah and you I come do. home with a truck full of stuff that you didn't really need but you kind of want or well, that yeah. Or walking down the aisle, and I'm like, I could use another pack of screwdrivers. Yeah, I'm here. I might as well. <laughs> right. It's, it's all whenever, useful stuff. It's whenever we go to, like, hardware stores and stuff like that. I literally, if I have the time, I'll stroll down. I'll just pick 10 random aisles and then be like, do I need anything? Does the shop need anything from these aisles? And if they don't, I go, eh, I've been here for 25 minutes. Better get rolling on. Been here wandering around for nine hours. <laughs> if I went to Menards for nine hours, I would spend $9,000. <laughs> Now that I'm thinking about it, if anyone's watching this podcast and they have a connection in the tool industry, we have 
the worst tools in our shop for how much <laughs> we how do. much we wrench on stuff and do things. Like we have the starter pack DeWalt uh, toolkit and drills and all that stuff. Half of it doesn't work most of the time. So if you're watching this and you have a tool connection, hit us up. Mm-hmm. We'll promote the shit out of it because we use it a lot. Yeah, we have like all the basics. But whenever someone comes in, like G-Reg or Kevin when we were working on my bike or anything, they're like, do you have this special tool? But it's not a, necessarily a crazy special tool. I'm like, no, just sockets. Do you have a just, spring puller? No. no. We I got mean, zip now ties, we do, though. but yeah. Do you guys have flathead screwdrivers that aren't bent? No, <laughs> no. we've used them to do things that aren't meant we, for we screwdrivers. We only have the, the flathead that's this big and then the flathead that, that's like this big and that's it. Because the we don't have like pry bars, so then we use our screwdrivers as pry bars. <laughs> or we don't have like a, a punch, so then we use our screwdrivers as punches. Mm. And all the punches we do have are bent like this. Yeah, but we, we make do. What's up with the bracelet? It's just so I don't forget, you know? Mm. Oh. How do you feel about both that, of us? Let's go. Oh. oh. <laughs> I thought he was, like, getting fancy or something. I was like, what well, is Oh, this wearing? would be sick if it was, like, gold chain. Mike pulls not up like with a that. Cartier bracelet. <laughs> is that cool? That's would fancy you guys, then? I I'm would, like, I would like, straight up black out oh, if, no. if you pulled up with, like, a nice watch or a nice bracelet. It wouldn't be me. It wouldn't. It That's wouldn't. why I'd be so surprised. Okay, so... Speaking of, I just swore, but I haven't acted. <laughs> Is that why you haven't talked at all this entire podcast? Because <laughs> yeah. oh, you can't talk without swearing? Or uh, no, I was on? starting this. Uh, I That's got funny. a new game. Here's the deal. You can say any swear word but the F word from here on out for the rest of the podcast. It'll probably be easy for you guys. For me, it's probably going to be hard. Um, and if you do swear, you have to take a shot, which is only going to probably make it progressively harder Harder. yeah yeah yeah, you're right oh man (laughs) but i gotta do something here and i figured it'd be maybe entertaining so we got brand new bottle of crown royal so i actually dropped off by some subscribers yeah some subs dude from canada was it yeah they were on their way back to canada and they and we they missed us while we were out filming and then they left a note and this it's just great like little things like that i reached out to him on instagram i said yo thanks for the crown that's pretty cool honestly that's nice of them so hold on so we can say every word but the f word yeah you just can't say the f word Shit, yeah, dude. <laughs> CJ can't use his subs, his effort substitute fudge. Fudge? <gasps> okay, I won't. Why can't, that's why, kinda, yeah. why can't you use fudge? <laughs> nah, because you could change it. You could catch yourself halfway. I like it, Ken, man. Ken from the back said you can't use your substitute word for the F word, fudge. And I think that you can only because you almost always say the F word and then right after go, er, er, fudge. Fudge. <laughs> dude, I got that from the Christmas story. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering where that came from. I was going to use it yesterday in a sub subtitle for fudge. Uh, somebody saying the F word in the video. And I was like, nah. I feel like people watching that would be like, why did they use fudge? Dude, I mean, it's a... It's a I've, we've done it a couple of times. You've done it a couple of times. It's, and I, it's I laugh when I see it, but I'm just like, I'd rather just not use it. Like, just, just don't even just, subtitle. Yeah. It's just a little Easter egg for somebody. Do other people around... Say fudge? Is it like a Midwest thing? Why are you trying not to swear? He just does it too much. I'm not proud of how much I swear. It's like I I was saying before, you can pepper the right words in at the right times and it's great. It's fine. But then as soon as it's just like F word too much, you're just kind of like, ah, dang, he likes that word a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty good at not swearing when it comes to when we're filming a YouTube video. I've programmed myself that way. Mm -hmm. But on the podcast, I'm not really thinking. I'm just sitting and blabbing reacting on, so yeah. i guess when i listen to it back i don't really feel that way i don't feel like i or you or really anyone swears where it's not uh like you know when some people just throw it in and you're like man you just love using that word but for i guess for us it's just having like a conversation just to be clear i don't swear when there's little kids around and stuff like that it's just the fact that we're here having a conversation with us you like, know and if we're meeting someone new i don't start just blabbing on saying the f word and stuff like i'm very mm-hmm. it's just i don't know i've just gotten loose on the podcast and so i'm just, so we're getting loose with booze let's so check some yeah, 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 so he's done check. swearing so he's gonna start taking shots instead <laughs> if i do swear then it I is funny, that's a punishment though. you're right like if you were to actually get intoxicated you'd probably start you would swearing start swearing more, even more yeah. because you start slipping up quit swearing but i picked up drinking it's always interesting when i see personalities that are are like the kids type personality or make kid type content and then i hear them on a podcast or 
meet them. Mm-hmm. Like Mr. Beast. Like if you listen to him on podcast, loves using the F word. Yeah, he does. And I probably think more into it because he is so brand and kid friendly. Yeah, you never yeah. hear him say anything. You would never hear him say like. He's like weirdly casual. Frick. You wouldn't it. even hear him say yeah. frick. When he is just getting interviewed like his Joe Rogan, he's weirdly. I'm like, I can't even believe he likes this word. It just doesn't fit him, but yeah. it also does. Yeah, you'd think, you'd you'd think go, after listen, that man. much time. It's you, not for you. I don't think you look right swearing. You just don't have the image, man. You're not cool enough. That'd be something we'd say to Mike. We'd be like, Mike, <laughs> no, you can't swear. No you don't swearing. got the look I mean, for you it. You just shouldn't swear, Mike. <laughs> There's a TikTok sound that's like for guys riding dirt bike, and it's like, every time I see this guy riding dirt bike, I think he's going to kill himself. And I think of Micah every time because it's for some reason we pegged you as an incapable rider, even though you probably are the best at wheeling. Better than yeah. me. Other than that. No, and it's funny because I'd, I'd have to agree with that to an extent. I try not to be too hard on myself, but I look at myself as an incapable <laughs> rider. But then once I get in the zone, I'm like, I can ride. But then, like, sometimes I'll watch myself back or something, and I'm like, man, you who the heck gave the, me a dirt bike? Yeah, you definitely have, like, the confidence, and you're, and you're doing it, but... <laughs> It's like Man, are you are so sketchy, high. dude? Yeah. You're, watching you, I'm worried. I feel like a parent watching. I'm like, dude, he should not be doing this. Whereas Evan <laughs> drops back, and I'm like, more of that shit. Right. Mike does it. I'm like, stop, stop. It's not worth the risk, Mike. It's not worth the risk. <laughs> that like worries me more because I haven't had any loop outs or anything. So dude, I don't it, know. I don't want to. Obviously, it sounds I, so yeah. awful. Oh, it's the worst. I looped yeah. over when I was a kid. I was probably like 14, 15 looped over going pretty fast i skidded on like this p rock and i went through a jacket like a over jacket a sweatshirt, sweatshirt a t-shirt and then into my skin yeah mm. and i still have a scar from it toasted too yeah oh man going? i was probably 30 i was probably 35. doing like 40 wow you, you slid that far yeah yeah probably i remember that it wasn't we were all riding Back over on by Lake Ida. Because I think I was on my 150 at the time, mm-hmm. and I want to say I was like fourth gear. Jeez. I remember your parents were like, no more wheeling. Yeah, and, and then I think I got home, cleaned it out, and then we went and rode and probably didn't think twice about it. Yeah. Yeah. I remember they were kind of like, no more wheelies, but you were like, it's all I know, mom and dad. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I'm a wheelie boy. I don't know. I don't. I don't know that anymore at all, dude. I can barely ride a wheelie on a big bike. What is your guys' worst injuries, Mike? What was? Do have you had any? Your yeah, foot. that was my foot. When we have just, we talked about that? I think we have, but basically riding in a Ranger with a buddy, and then we rolled it, and you instinctually put your foot out. The roll cage landed on it and just destroyed it. I broke like four. Like crushed of them. it. Four of the five toes, that was definitely the worst by far. Like, the sur- like surgeon, it's one of those ones where she was like, I did the best I could. It wasn't I, even I, like... I'm not joking. Then she's like, you go. wake up, and they're just all standing there like... Eh. Oh. She, yeah, I'm like, how long was I out once I like came to it? And it was she's like, the surgery ended up being six hours instead of three or whatever it was supposed to be. And she's like, it was... Jeez. I did the best I could. Wow. We, uh, yeah. To be like, just lie to me. Tell me it's great. So yeah. we, we had to remove your penis. <laughs> Mike's like, like, what? Why? Why? What? We had to take and two th- inches off. What? what? That's all I had. <laughs> the, the good <laughs> news is we reattached it to your foot. <laughs> it's your your small toe yeah. now. <laughs> we took your, your toe. Your baby toe now. <laughs> if you don't have your baby toe, you don't have balance. <laughs> so we figured no, you'd rather no. have balance than a dick. <laughs> it's your big toe. It's your big toe. That's funny. Yo. No, it wasn't big enough to use it. <laughs> we feel like it would have looked weird um that was before we actually knew you so i never yeah. saw you during that time was your foot like a flab because no. i envision it if you if it got crushed and it was just completely crushed was it just like a that's literal the, flap? almost think of it that's the worst part i was my head my foot sideways so almost like owie and you know how your foot's flat it was almost more of like a round baked potato did you black out thing. from the pain? Yeah. yeah. Dude, that had Majorly, to because then so get swollen. this. My foot's that broken. The craziest part was he he doesn't know that just happened. He goes, dude, uh, my dad's ranger. We got to get it flipped back over. Oh, my God. I'm, I hop back <laughs> over on one foot. I'm like, all right, let's try it. <sighs> Did you get Oh, my God. Uh, I don't know if we know. Then this people came and helped us because I'm like, dude, I don't know what's wrong with my foot, but I can't help <laughs> you anymore. Little I know, then as soon as I get my shoe off, I just like got like super scared. You know, yeah, like, that look, you look at, at your that? arm and it's I all flabby or something. I cannot believe you trying to walk on that. <laughs> I know. I know. And I'm, like, I'm sure I don't the know, adrenaline. I think it's bad. Yeah, the adrenaline. And then once. Some people can do crazy things off of adrenaline when they're like seriously, like seriously messed up. Yeah. 
I mean, it's the same thing of like a mom lifting a car off of their child. Yeah. It's so weird how that works. Like, it's like, I think it's the coolest thing, to be honest, that like not getting injured. That cannot but, be good for you, but, though, because the adrenaline just covers it up and then you mess it up even worse. I mean, that's yeah. possible. That's for sure. So how swollen was it? It had to have been just a Well, baseball. then that's when I went in and they basically were like, well, we can't operate on it now. Like, it's mangled. Like, you know, the inside of your, your muscles and everything. So you, I had to sit for two weeks. And just let it like. Wait, why couldn't they? They just oh, couldn't this, operate right so away. Swollen, so they swollen. said, "Get the swelling down," and it like went started going up. And then my whole foot was just, just looked like a burrito, dude. Oh. It was huge. Does your foot ever hurt today? Still? Yeah, it does. Only when so when we were jet skiing, those four toes get so numb and like I feel really? like I'm gonna run into problems with that, mm. dude. My snowmobiling and stuff. Obviously, I didn't have nearly as bad of an injury as you. Yeah. So tell you what happened my to you when you broke your hurts. foot? Yeah, like still hurts, and it's like really stiff like i feel like i need to like i don't know they need to like get a massager in there and like almost like i don't know dude it hurts like i feel like i need to it doesn't hurt but you know like, what you should do you should i feel like this. it needs to like crack but i can't yeah you should do the same thing that i have done on my nuts i mean i don't that, know if it's quick. that bad no dead ass because that breaks up inflammation oh <laughs> uh, maybe i do then yeah i don't know It'd but I, good. it would hurt so bad really your feet yeah oh, i, I get like, it done on my feet for reflex points mm. and it hurts so bad Really? Mm. Oh, dude, terrible. So yeah, what was your worst injury? Uh, I fell off a piano bench when I was a kid, and I <laughs> broke my arm. That's why you should never play piano. Yeah, piano is one of those. Sports. I gotta be it's one of the dangerous. only. <laughs> yeah, dude, I seriously gotta be one of the only people to ever break their arm on a piano. Well, it's like your parents had to start you so early. You like, <laughs> were just dangling. Yeah, we're pulling them out of music. <laughs> Too, Too dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> when you, I was probably like seven or eight, I was riding. My teeth year 90 and I came over a hill and my brother was coming over at the same time and he hit me what? and it, his peg yeah. was kind of at like the same level as my foot. Oh, and on impact, it broke my foot. So I'm like, ah, 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 my foot. Don't tell mom. And Sam oh, yeah. goes, don't tell seriously, don't, don't tell, tell mom, mom and dad. And I'm like, what do you mean? I have a broken foot. What am I supposed to do? And he goes. At Don't the time, him. did you know it was broken? I'm sure uh, you were like, I, didn't, I didn't know it was it broken. It hurts or really not. bad. He's like, you're know. nine. You'll get over it. Yeah. And I was like, what am I supposed to tell him? And he's like, just tell me fell. I was like, <laughs> okay. So I go home and I was hobbling and they were like, what's wrong? And I was like, I <laughs> fell. Oh, and they were like, what do you mean you fell? And I was like, on a rock. And they were like, oh, okay. Well, let's go get it x-rayed. Sure like, enough, it was broken. And I lived with that lie. I covered it up until about like three years ago. I finally, I was like a little rat and I, I narked on him. Really? Yeah, I, I felt love, like it was time. I love stories like that. So did your brother tell get grounded? Later on. Yeah, he big trouble. Him. Sam ran into Natalie once too, your sister, when yeah. we were on the Ely trip. That's right. <laughs> Dude, it was just a reckless dirt biker. You run into people head on. Yeah, left and right. <laughs> Taking Sam. out the siblings yeah. one after another. Yeah. I got hit after that. So I'm sure if, if oh, my parents oh, would have oh, found oh. out. All right, he oh, took yeah. Natalie out six months ago. That was little brother. He's done. They We're putting been, him yeah. on the piano. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of funny getting injured doing things that like aren't injury prone. Like I think my worst injury was falling off the one wheel, dude. When CJ had to come and rescue me, I was going on the one wheel, going too fast. And basically, if you go too fast, it can't keep up and it just cuts out. And I literally like baseball slid You're and probably dove. About 23 mile an hour. Yeah, yeah, we had the app. It, it was like 23 or something yep. like that. I just baseball slid in a t-shirt right down the highway. It looked like he uh, oh. put down a motorcycle it's on the road. Something about the roads out here, though. Like They're like sharp because they put the these P little rock. P rocks mm -hmm. into the hot tar for, so that way you can have traction in the winter. So they're sharp. Oh. Like It's not just concrete or you know asphalt, asphalt yes. or whatever, but it's like sharp little rocks in the road. I'll tell you, that shit hurts. Dude, for it's sure. basically like the roads around here are like three grit sandpaper. Yeah, yeah. literally. Like it's, it's like giant P Rock sandpaper. So yeah, that was pretty nasty. Mm -hmm. I did that too. I fell on a longboard once. I remember I skinned up my hands and my boss at the time at the pizza place I worked at, she was like disciplining me because I couldn't make pizzas as fast because my hands were, were all, were like, all skinned she, up. What I'm do you like, mean? what was she doing? I just, she was just upset that I was like out enjoying myself and I fell. Mike's output, pizza output was already slow. <laughs> <laughs> you need to Dude, take this was. job more seriously. My pizza output was slow because I was a perfectionist and it was, uh, 
I mean, it wasn't like a serious problem, but it was always like, yo, it looks great, but hurry up. I didn't know your pizza output was slow. I was just assuming. <laughs> <laughs> didn't help that he showed up to work two hours late every day. Yeah, so I had to like make extra pizzas. Did they actually make you? <laughs> no, like, oh, like, like they, they didn't need them. Back when you did have that job, them. though, Mike, so, you know, before we were all full time, we were still doing YouTube, but then we all had jobs we were doing on the side. And Mike would sleep in so much that his boss would call us. And then we would go and wake him up and then tell him to go into work. Mm-hmm. Keep in mind. And they like, a- but they like you so much that they wouldn't fire you. I, you got to yeah, be the did. only person right. ever. Bro, you're so lovable. Job after job. You are so <laughs> lucky. <laughs> right. So lucky. Go and work for Dave Sherbrooke and he'll whip you into shape real quick. <laughs> One time I was, I was 20 minutes late to work. I worked for Dave for four years, I believe. First time ever being late. And after four years, I think, I was late. I was 20 minutes late to work. Oh, my God. You would have thought that I murdered his wife. <laughs> what did he do? I kicked his mom down the stairs. I don't know. He just came and just screamed at me. It was, looking back at it, I mean, it was a pretty normal Dave interaction. Right. And, <laughs> just a peak madness. Yeah. And then, Well, I think after that, I was just like, man... I'm over this shit. I got to oh, start a YouTube channel. I thought you were going to say, man, I'm never going to be late again. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I was like, maybe we need just. Well, I wasn't really late ever. It was just like that one time. And I was just like, hey, I made a, I made a mistake. I think I didn't set an alarm or something like mm-hmm. that. And yeah. Classic. I guess, I guess in hindsight, yeah, I probably wasn't ever late again after that. <laughs> so, Mikey, you worked at Zorba's. Well, no, you I mean, worked I late had a, all kinds of different jobs. But before, what was the last job you had before we started YouTubing? Zorba's. It was Zorba's. Yeah. Technically, that's well, right. And that was like, like shirts. That was an interesting time, too, because I'd, I'd like run myself so thin. Because just when you're working there, you start at 11 when they open, and you just work through both rushes. And like if it's super busy, you just keep working. So I was like 11 to like 8 or 9. And then after that, I'd get off and like we'd go do stuff. And I loved it there so much. And you guys were like, seriously, like you don't have to work there anymore. And I was like, yeah, but like mostly just because it's one of those ones where they want to keep you there. And like you're like, I think I'm going to be done. And they're like, can't you just do like three days a week? Zorba's is like a pizza restaurant mm-hmm. and bar. Yeah. Just yeah. So I don't yep. work back in the kitchen and it was super fun. But it was just like and I made pretty good money there. But yeah, that was a problem. You took like a pay cut because you're like, all right. I'm going to go full-time YouTubing. Hopefully, we make more, yeah, but I'm going to make, like, literally <clears throat> a third as much money as I have been. At the time, yeah. But we're all, like, you know, Ben worth it. hit quit, and we're like, no, dude, if we do this. We're only going to be flat broke for the next three years if we all quit right now. <laughs> <No>. And we <laughs> were. That's Man. That's an interesting yeah. thought. Like, at the time, I wasn't making that good of money compared to now, but I was like, dude, I'm, I'm like, bartending, man. You know, I get a bunch of good tips, and then we had to go start at square one, which... This none of this would be possible if we didn't take those risks. Yeah, exactly. I'm yeah. glad that we pushed. Yeah, like you, you know, you quit your summer job. We like kind of went and made CJ quit his job. It's it's all that's pretty, right. Pretty interesting. That isn't an old like, video. Probably yeah. a lot of people don't remember that one. <laughs> and he really liked it there where he was working yeah. too. He really did. Like free the gym membership. Yeah, it was great. I laugh thinking back to that moment. How then we were like, we should, should we take the Maverick? I'm like, <laughs> like, yeah, so it, random, it. dude. So random. Dude, I think back to so many things that we did. I just go, why? Yeah. <laughs> why did we, why do, did we that? do that? And I, I, I guess I don't. I myself. guess I don't regret any of it because it led us to where we're at right now, and I'm pretty stoked. But then I'm like, well, shit. Where would we be if we wouldn't have done half that messing around? It's just how I, it is. It I mean, is I still it say it about stuff I did yesterday. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good job. We're, uh, I don't know how long into the podcast. Nobody's sworn. Yeah, nothing. Yet, or nobody's dropped an F-bomb. I know. I've caught myself a <laughs> couple <laughs> times. It just hits like a certain point in the podcast and we just all do it. We're just <laughs> like, screw this. We just start partying. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like uh, we are, at least I can't speak for you guys, but I feel like I'm almost having to think about what I'm saying a lot more and it's getting in my head. Just take the shot. Just say whatever you want, Ben. <laughs> Take the shot. Take the shot. This is going to have the best retention because I'm going to just get a little bit more hammered. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of it, I'm going to be blacked out. Speaking of blacked out, I got CJ blacked out the other day for his birthday. That was That's your right. doing? <laughs> it wasn't my doing, but I was definitely a catalyst to making it worse. And Alex was so... So pissed at me for doing it, but I was like, "Dude, it's your birthday! You gotta, you that was gotta. terrible." I, I mean, I'd, I think to I'd be fun, fair, but I, I didn't think know. you were that drunk, and I was like, "Dude, let's take 
I got I iced you and I iced Ken, oh, and I knew Ken wasn't going to do it. Obviously, he never does. What? 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 Ken, Ken loves ices. Anyway, yeah. you love ices, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then yeah, I got CJ a couple shots because it was his birthday. But little did I know. Everybody else also got him yeah, a couple shots. shots. Yeah, it was like everywhere we were going. Honestly, they just pop up this video. This is probably going to be like the best representation of that night. I don't Here, know. Here, let me show you. Let me just show it to Man. you. I went into Zorba's the other day, and I saw Brian, the owner, and I, and I knew that I had been blacked out there, and I apologized. I said, dude, I'm sorry for <laughs> whatever I did. And he goes, no, no, you're good, dude. You you were just chilling. You you were having a great time. You were great. Thanks for coming. So it was like, I, didn't do any, I didn't do anything wrong. That's good. It which is I'm always glad. <laughs> Happy birthday. Like sleeping? Just oh, like, it's a video. Just, you were uh, in, like a waving inflatable arm balloon man. Dude. <laughs> God, that's but see, terrible. you're chilling. You're not like, you know. I knew what I was you're doing. Ch- I just chilling. didn't. You just didn't know what you were doing. You I know, just don't remember. Chilling. Yeah, I was fine. You back. <laughs> that's that's funny though. Yeah. Cause, uh, well, the thing is, we got home. I was brushing my teeth, and I threw up in the sink right as oh. I was done brushing my teeth, and then I brushed them again. <laughs> in the sink. nothing worse yeah, than I a filled sink it up. puke. Like the whole fucking it was. Sink and puke. then yeah. fuck! I swore. Whoa! Oh, was that two? I guess. Yeah, you're right. Oh! <laughs> yeah, like, you just said. <laughs> What, that what was really was dumb. That? I was swore, that hotel room I, by Pippa? It was. I don't know why that was my go-to, but it just felt right at the it. moment. God damn it! The game hotel room. Is it cold? Yeah. So are you in the clear now? Because I kind of want to just. Or you have to do it every time. You have to do yeah. it every time every you swear. Time I swear. Yeah. Otherwise, it'd be yeah, just yeah, like yeah. one shot. Yeah. 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 I was hoping. I was hoping that you were gonna just be like, "Well, now that you've already done it, well, now I have to, we're in the clear." You know, it's like that. One of those things, like you make the rule, so then once it. once it bites you in the ass, then you're like, "Well, I was just joking." <laughs> Anyways, I do that all the time. If you guys haven't noticed, when I'm pulling the strings for like a video prank, and then it, and then it somehow affects me, I'm like, "Wow, wow. it's it's not yeah. that deep." <laughs> You guys are thinking and do it too much. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's the worst. There we go. All right. I don't want to talk about this for very long. Last night at the concert, we went to Steve Aoki. He played in Fargo. It was his first time playing in North Dakota. I can imagine why. It had to have been the first time anybody's played in North Literally. Dakota. Um, but we go there, and this uh, one of Jace, Ben's friend, one of his homies, I think his name's Jeremy, but he goes up to me and goes, Hey, you see CJ... Um, let him know I went to Crispin Green because cause he was talking good about it. I'm like, you no, got it, man. No way. <laughs> yeah. Dude, CJ, they need to start giving it, me a man. kickback. So, yeah. They I'm not to going sponsor this darn podcast. I broke the streak, by the way. Yeah, you did. Dude, if Wait, Chris- today's Friday. You got a chance, dude. Eh, I'm over it, man. <laughs> I think I'm moving on. <laughs> really? <laughs> Five guys now. Yeah. Nice. Burgers now. It was a good run. Wow, what a switch up. I don't know. I'm just saying. What a switch up. I do like five guys, though. I usually go to Jimmy John's. I I really like Jimmy John's. I know a lot of people don't. A lot of people do. You can't justify it. Yeah, it's all good. Like, to me, it's just a good sandwich. But a lot of other other people are like, I'm not into, like, you know, 11 bucks or 10 bucks or whatever it is. It's like 12 bucks for a basic sandwich, No, 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 no. The the good ones are around. Mine was $9.50, actually. With the the, the combo? With the double. No. Yeah, but after taxes. Yeah, and then you get the combo and. But anyway, I went there and Jimmy John's is just not fast anymore. They it's not just take and I know they you had guys to know take that. that. They had to take that. Uh, yeah, the freaky, freaky fast. fast, freaky they, fast. Oh, really? Oh, they Why? Did. Well, because they're they were, not fast. They were just. <laughs> I go to like, Subway listen. and it's twice as fast, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't of, know if it's just the our local towns, Jimmy John's, but I swear. I'm investing like 25 minutes to investing. go and get a sandwich yeah. instead of instead time. of just training them to be faster or maybe like changing up the way they do things. They're like, let's just take the sign down. Just take the <laughs> sign down. <laughs> Screw Dude, it. It's just weird. I think they were getting a lot of scrutiny because they marketed themselves as freaky fast. They used to be though. They'd have that sub done by the time that you were basically folding your receipt up or crumpling it they up. They would hear the order and just make yeah. it. Literally. Yeah. What are they doing? They're and not even toasting that shit. <laughs> I, and yeah, they don't even have like what are they doing or anything special. That's why I'm just like, it, like it, it. I used to eat Jimmy John's before I had to have a hockey game because it was light. But if I'm hungry for a meal nowadays, like I don't want anything light. I'm just gonna go eat. Yeah. So, but this twelve bucks for please, just something. Ba- no bashing basic Jimmy John's. This is just about their speed. 
Fair enough. I'm just kidding. Mike's just keeping kidding. this open no, in case yeah. Jimmy John's I'm wants to hit us. It's good that you like it. I just, yeah, that's but my stance. Did I mention that we love Jimmy John's I mean, and Crispin Greens? They just don't like, friendly. they don't like have the just, people in the right places. So you know how every restaurant's pushing for you, mo- mobile. You, well, they well, just don't up. have like, you what know. What do you mean, Mike? I'm saying like how there's mobile orders, there's uh, in-person orders, and then there's drive through Well, guess what? The one I went to today didn't even have a drive through So I'm like, I'm going to put a mobile order in. I put it in before I entered the restaurant, like on my way there. And then I go in, I'm like, I, I had to wait in line, and I go, I got a pickup order. Assuming the just like, nice, hand me the sandwich. And she literally just goes, oh, you're Mike with the, I haven't started that yet, but I'll start it right now. I'm like, why? Why? Dude. Like, and then the because guy that ordered. Mike, Mike, you're dealing with another Micah. <laughs> <laughs> right. But I mean, Sucks, if, doesn't if, it? if I worked at Jimmy John's and had sandwiches to make, I would just like make them. Like, what else, the, what else hey, are you going to do? I go, what about when you, you worked at the pizza shop? When you said just that, make Mike, the pizzas. I thought that you were standing behind the desk, just like scrutinizing, like looking at how all the things are laid out. Oh. Mike's like, this is all <laughs> wrong. The sink is in the wrong spot. Yeah. I was like, what are you, a design expert? They need to move now? the hand no, over there. Yeah, I don't know about all that. I was just, <laughs> it's like just their positions. Mike. You want to know what this all comes down to, though? I don't know if it's just nowadays or if it's been like this for since the beginning of time. I would assume it's getting worse just because you just look at how people are nowadays. People are just bad at their job. A lot of people are just True. half-assing their whole thing. Dude, so I had a lift. My my our good friend Mark uh, loaned me his boat lift for the summer because he wasn't he doesn't have a boat for the summer. He didn't get one. Um, so he's like, you can just use mine. So, so that way you don't have to buy one. And and they'll deliver it because they had it at the lift place. So I was like, oh great, I'll pay for it to be delivered. Whatever. I don't know if they could have done any worse of a job. They like <laughs> must have just pushed it off the the barge. They didn't level it, and then they pushed it facing the wrong way. So like I can't like you can't put the boat onto it because it's literally backwards, <laughs> and it's a ten thousand pound yeah, lift. You, you can't, can't move you can't that. move it lift. yourself. It's t- it's the biggest lift you can buy. You need at least four guys in the water. At and least. I literally go look at it. It was like crooked and sitting in the water. I'm like the they just left funny. it. They just left. What's the story behind it that? It scared Have you ever me heard when anything? I it, it like startled me when I walked inside because I ran in to go change quick after we had done whatever bit we were filming that day. And it was like there. I knew they were gonna bring it. But CJ uh, walks out the door. It, oh, no, oh, no. Holy the reason why it scared shit. me is because I there was like this metal object like this in the water oh, out yeah. front. And I thought the dock had like gotten mangled by something, but I was like, oh, it's a that's a lift. What'd they do here? <laughs> and I go and look at it. I don't think they could have put any least effort in besides just not even bringing it as a whole. <laughs> Maybe they looked at it like this cheap bastard doesn't even buy his own lift. Well, we're going to just throw Mark this thing it in. from them. Yeah, no, it's funny, Pay though, because delivery? they do that. And now they just bit themselves in the ass because they have to come back ha- and redo. I would. Well, mm-hmm. they better. I can't put my boat on it. And now it's sitting in our shop. Mm-hmm. But so, yeah, anyways, yeah that, sh- shout out, Mark. But also people need to just do their job better. This another thing that happened the other day when we were editing, Ken went and got us lunch uh, at actually, I don't want to cause problems. So just <laughs> blank that out. I asked for extra sauce on the wings, and they gave me, like, less sauce than normal. <laughs> I was just like, what? We have three places to eat around here, and CJ's not trying to piss one of them <laughs> no, off. I, mean, I, like, I love them all. Time. I love them all, but I just was like, hmm. come on. Like, this sucks. You just charged me probably 20 bucks for these, and you, you know, just do your job. I think it just comes down to certain people care as much as they're getting paid and a lot of them just aren't getting paid i don't even think it's that because you start paying people more they just get used to it well it doesn't necessarily make them care or work harder yeah but if you put certain people in control and they have a little bit of of, uh authority over people and they care a little bit more then they might take responsibility for their work but if they're like bottom of the barrel and they don't give a shit whether your doc's in or out in f- f- straight sideways upside down they're getting the same paycheck at the end of the day and it just kind of comes back on well, their piece of shit boss if their boss chews them out that sucks but like i don't know it, it's probably it's just management at a certain degree because a lot of these companies 100%. that we work with we've seen get bigger and bigger and bigger and they used to be so good and they got big because they're so good and now they're huge and they suck. They can't manage all these people. They can't manage all these people and they don't have, you know, they don't have people in, in control because everybody is just like, nobody really knows Pretty what's soon going you start on. hiring people that don't care. Yeah. Or they're not invested. <clears throat> the biggest thing is right. being invested. I remember back when I worked at Courts Plus in Fargo, which 
it was a gym. I worked like the front desk and did a bunch of other stuff uh, on the there too. But I always did a good job, not because I was getting paid a lot. I was getting paid ten bucks an hour, but because the manager, my boss, was a nice guy to me. He was very cool. He was a nice guy, and I didn't want to let him down. You know, mm-hmm. so I would always make sure I did my job right. Whereas I go back. And I look at the job prior. I was washing cars. And they just, they treated me like trash there, dude. Like, they did. And, I mean, I didn't care that much then, you know? They also didn't even care if the cars were not getting done that good. I don't know. Or maybe people are just getting worse at work. I don't know. I wonder if I think it goes to management for sure. I think, yeah, I think you guys are right. I think management is, like, so important because, like you say, for your boss and whatnot. And that trickles the whole way down. But I also wonder if it's just, we're getting older. You know when you're a kid? And you like look at your parents, you're like, this person has everything figured out. Or you see like a high school, you're like, man, they know everything. Yeah. And then now we've reached the level where we're dealing with people. Like never before have you had to hire a doc person to put the doc in because you either did it yourself with your dad, but you've never had that problem. When we've never had all these new problems from where we're getting stuff from and what we're doing. So maybe... It's just everybody's always sucked at their job. People just suck. You're right. That's probably the <laughs> best People way just to suck look at it. Now we just have to deal with it. That's probably the best way. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you're younger, you don't really have to deal with that much stuff. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I was thinking, Yeah, that's a great point. I was thinking about that earlier too. People always blame um things not working. Like, oh, sorry, I'm late on this. COVID. Like they they blame everything on that. Um, like COVID. Yeah. Like uh Oh, sorry, your order's late. This can't get it here. Like, yeah, people have been using. Yeah. They're still using that excuse, and I'm like, if you're still <clears> using <throat> that excuse now, you just did not prepare well enough. I I, I just like they thinking. Just sometimes down. you think of a backstory. Sometimes, like I'd like to think for your your uh, boat lift that 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 uh, their barge like broke down and they needed to like they had more pressing. I'd like to they think start that. raining and yeah, you didn't want to get wet. I was trying to come up with scenarios too. So I like to try to think of that it, as far as like my sub at Jimmy John's goes. That that just does come down. I'm sorry, I just didn't. Yeah. I haven't started it yet. Odds yeah. are somewhere but, along the line of the things getting done, someone is having a bad day. Yeah. That too. Yeah, man. I always have a lot of respect for these companies. The, the owners of these companies bringing on so many employees, but making these employees feel special. Like when we went to custom offsets, when we first mm-hmm. started working with them, the CEO, Sean, had a way of just speaking to the employees that made them all feel like this isn't, I'm not an employee. Building I am building custom a, offsets. Yeah, like yeah. I am a, not just a number here. Like I matter. And dude, Clearly it worked because it's an insanely successful company now. That just comes down to like Sean being a really, really good leader. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He talked with us for a long time too. And like he cared. He did. Right. Yeah. It That's comes down I, to caring and working hard. Yeah. If you don't care and you aren't a hard worker, just things aren't going to work. So me and CJ spent the day with our grandpa, Ron. A legend. This week. <laughs> yeah. About a, Such a, a very, legend. It, you have like a picture of it. To, this Mustang a, that you guys went and helped them pick up is just. So funny to me. I'm not saying that the car is funny or stupid or silly looking. It's just like I didn't even know that they <laughs> Dude, made Mustangs geez, that looked like geez, that. Mike, it looks like an Oldsmobile. Yeah, like it, it's yeah. but it's a convertible. Which it's got to be sick. like an '88. Yeah, assume. something like that. Like it was kind of in the era um, where Mustangs just weren't like they're not that cool, but it's sentimental right. type of thing. Right. To be he, fair, Mustangs have fast. really never been cool <laughs> yeah. except for like Aww. recently. I yeah, think, our, yeah. No, our I Mustang, think like our Mustang, our Mustang body. And then yeah, the n- now, but I agree. Other 50s. than that, our Mustang body, skip all of them yep. up until like Mustangs today. Yeah. yeah uh, in 2004, when they, or it might've been 2005, whenever they did, they made the, the change to kind of like the similar body style that they that have now. Yeah. I remember it being just mm-hmm. like that was crazy. Cool. Yeah. It was super cool. I remember our neighbor, someone went and dropped it, dropped them off and, and, the whole neighborhood was looking at it. So anyway, you guys were yeah. hanging with so Grandpa anyway, Ron. Yeah, we got to spend the day with Grandpa Ron, which is always fun because growing up, me and CJ learned a lot from Grandpa Ron just because he's one of those guys that's like insanely witty and he's always got like a comeback he's or a great response. A bullshitter. And he's just a bullshitter. Yeah, and he's a salesman. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't know. We've just, me and CJ have gotten a lot of like our humor and uh, kind of just how we bullshit with people. When I was a him. kid, he told me that uh, you need to know how to bullshit in life. Like, I remember him telling me that. 
And I was like, that's so DJ funny. Six. But it's true, though. It's true. As you get older, it's And then he also important. cracks a beer and goes, also, you need to learn how to drink one of these. You'll Here, thank you later. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, eighth grade. Yeah, no. It's so true, though. Because if, if you got a guy who can actually talk and isn't a dweeb, not that there's anything wrong with being a dweeb, but like they're not, they're good to be around. They're fun to be around, and he is fun to be around. Dweebs? No, Grandpa Ron's. Oh, people that can bullshit. <clears throat> well, it's like, let's say you got a guy for the job, and he is going to be Ken's shipping partner. Uh-huh. But he is just so straight-laced and just, you know. Dweeb. He's, yeah, he's kind of a dweeb. Yeah. But he's a good guy. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with him. Right. Just but then dweeb. you got a guy who's like you, um, Ben, uh-huh. obviously. <laughs> Roth, yep. But, but looking this. for a job to be shipping. Okay. You would hire you just because it would be fun to hang out with, or any of you guys, you know, like it would be fun to hang out with you because you're going to be cracking jokes. You can go out and get food with them later. Like you don't mind hanging out with them. Yeah. And Mm -hmm. that's kind of what I think he was saying. For sure. And he's got friends with everybody and he makes friends with everyone. He makes friends with everyone and he's just a salesman at heart, dude. He'll be yeah. selling things. He'll be selling things that he's not even making commission on, but he's just selling things because that's all he knows how to do. Yeah. <laughs> He'll sell somebody else on something that we own and we're not even selling. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> shit, I guess we're selling it. Yeah. Yeah. So funny. But um, yeah, we want to film a prank. I don't know if we want it. Do we want to out? No, I think idea? we can say it. Yeah. yeah. So last year we got the golf cart. Mike got the golf cart after he absolutely <laughs> yardied launched it, it, launched it, and um, we put the train horns on it. And last fall, we tried filming this prank video where we went to a golf course and we're dressed as golfers and we train horn other golfers on the golf course, but you can't see the train horn, so they don't know where it comes from. Yeah, super hard prank, and we never actually ended it's up scary pulling too. It like off. it's yeah, it worries me. It worries me too. But you got to choose whoever you're gonna train horn wisely. Because it's very loud. <laughs> very loud. <laughs> Scary. We did it on the last day that the golf courses were open around here last year. Of like our local country club. Yeah. Like yeah. It was like- yeah. The one that I, I grew up playing at, not going back there. That man, that I was, yeah. Well, nothing went wrong. That. But if we go over there and, and we train horn, you're probably going to get thrown out. Exactly. <laughs> if yeah, you get yeah. caught. <laughs> so it didn't end up working. So we're going to do it again this spring or coming up soon. And we were like, man, It'd be really funny if we got Grandpa Ron, who's a golfer. He lives on a golf course. All of his buddies are golfers. We're like, it'd be really funny if we went golfing with him, and, and he he, he was a part of the prank, and he train horns people because they would never expect it coming from him. Right. If he's sitting in the golf cart with one of us, it'll just be like, oh, what must not have been like. You're gonna look around, and be like, it had to have came from somewhere. If it's us and we're dressed <laughs> how we are normally dressed, right? They're gonna think those guys are fucking with me. Fudge. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are messing with me. Take a shot. That's funny. Yeah, exactly. So it would just be hilarious because then when they do come up and they're like, was that you? Grandpa Ron's going to have some witty response and be because funny. he's funny. On, he's a funny character. And um, also, what I feel if like people love them? But what if it better? Oh, sorry. But what if it's like an old guy? More than likely, the old guy wouldn't pick a fight with us, but he sees Grandpa Ron and thinks, I could probably take him. And they <laughs> Grandpa Ron would fight. scrap. Grandpa would scrap. I know scrap. he would. That's what I'm worried about. And he about. could take it. Dude, Grandpa, our Grandpa Ron is almost 80. What? And, dude, he's just <laughs> chilling with us, he dude. He doesn't look yeah. a day over 69. Yeah, I want to exactly. just like bring him around and start doing more stuff with him and like filming. I wish we would have been filming when we were hanging out with him because he was telling us so many funny stories. Like this one story, hopefully he doesn't mind me telling. <laughs> Apparently, well, we were walking into Benny Hanna. And uh, this truck, another bad worker, he was on a construction job. They're doing construction. <laughs> and us three are walking. And Ken. Ken came with. And we're walking across the parking lot street. And we clearly were, like, in the middle of the street. We were way ahead of this truck. And this truck comes flying in and literally goes around us in, while we're in the middle of the street. Like, he could have just waited three seconds. And then he just parks right here. Like, he... It made no sense. Yeah, Grandpa, and Grandpa Ron's, Ron's, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I was even like, what the heck? And Grandpa goes, one time a guy did that to me back in whatever year. I kicked in both his doors. <laughs> yeah. What did he say? He said something like that. I was like, why right, didn't this, I have this, the camera go? This like doesn't this. count because I'm just rephrasing what he said. But he goes, why don't you learn how to fucking drive? Kicks the door in. And then the guy was like, why'd you do that? And he goes around, kicks the other <laughs> door in and goes, what are you going to fucking do about <laughs> it? 
And then he walked Holy. in and the guy didn't do anything. Which is so funny because Grandpa Ron is not like an angry Good person. Guy. He's always laughing. He probably laughs more than any savage, anyone dude. I know. Always laughing when we're with him. So that's why I just picture him getting just heated about Something. that. I feel like it, it was a different time probably when he did that. Yeah, probably, it, was, it was probably like 2012. Oh, yeah. It probably wasn't that long ago. <laughs> yeah. If we do the thing with your grandpa at the golf course, like think of him doing it and then a golfer like realizing and then seeing your grandpa cackling, laughing. Like that other guy similar to his age can't not laugh at that. Yeah. Like they're going to yeah. just be like, oh, a fellow older guy who likes to golf played a prank on The me. thing is though. But he sees us. Yeah. douchebags sitting there they're gonna be like screw those guys yeah. i'm calling the course yeah. that might get a better reaction true we'll have to do a couple of both but yeah he is such a character i hope he doesn't mind us no nah, that's a fine story that's that's a cool it, one it's well i have an, i have another one <laughs> um grandpa ron is technically like me and cj's step grandpa uh he just ma like married my grandma back when my mom and his dad were like teenagers anyway but before my grandma but he's like our grandpa grandma right right yeah. right 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 like he's they've been married for like 45 years before he was married to my grandma he got married at like 21 or something like that was with this lady then i think got divorced and then ended up getting remarried to this lady and then got divorced oh, and then yeah. after the second time getting divorced his twin brother not not his twin, his oh, older. Oh, his, his older brother then married her. <laughs> what? Yeah. And here's the funniest part. They all come to family Christmas with me and CJ. <laughs> what? Wow. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hold on. Grandpa Ron. Grandpa Ron. For, gets divorced from the second wife? Let's just say her name is Shelly. And so the brother then went for the second wife. Or the no, or no, no, no. to the first wife. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Grandpa Ron marries Shelly. Mm -hmm. Ron and Shelly get divorced. Yep. Ron remarries Shelly. Ron and Shelly get divorced. Wait, Ron they got they got remarried again. Yes, didn't work. yes. Ron married her twice. <coughs> oh, wow. so it wasn't different people. No, it no, was no, the same no, no. Person. Same person. Same person. Oh man, this just seems like being together with extra steps. Yeah. So then they get divorced for a second time, and then Grandpa Ron's brother <laughs> marries Shelly. Wow. Yeah. And now they they all came to family Christmas for the past thirty years. I mean, it's so like obviously all, it's all now pretty it's civil. fine. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. yeah, it's extremely civil. And well, for the longest I, time, I didn't even know, like, oh, wow. this grandpa's ex -wife. I knew. I just love the, the two Marys. Yeah. Like, the, trying it again, and then she's like, I thought we were really close that time. It still didn't work out, but I'd like to stay in the family. Yeah, I you guess. Know? I'm it's a good family. I'm rattled. Band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like I'm crazy, rattled. Though. Is uh, that crazy? How strange, huh? You think you'd That's be mad, so but whack. it was just chill. It'd be like if my little brother married my or started dating my ex girlfriend, I wouldn't be mad about it. I'd just feel bad for him. Yeah, and that's <laughs> what he says. Yeah, me and CJ we're getting the lowdown this week and we're like, So like what what were you thinking? Like how'd you feel? And he goes, I was just fucking glad it wasn't me. I felt <laughs> bad for him. <laughs> wasn't gonna do that a third time. Yeah. I mean that's Ooh. true. I got everything out of the way, you know. I wouldn't imagine that there's much envy or jealousness or good for yeah, them. No, though, cause no. they could have probably literally gotten so pit. Like that story could have gone one or two ways. They're cool. They're at every family Christmas or, or they like, never, yeah, he shot him after that. <laughs> <laughs> or they never okay, speak again. That doesn't happen in our family. We're not, no, right no, next, not your but, family, but, but I mean, yeah, it's you know, a possibility. Like, All right. Last thing on grandpa Ron, it's just really funny since you are taking shots for the, having a potty mouth. But my mom was like, she listened to some of the podcasts and I was like, I told her, I was like, yeah, it's a lot more, it's more explicit than the videos are. She's like, yeah, I just, you know, CJ in particular, he's got a little bit of a potty mouth. I'm working on it. And then Connie. she watched the, uh, the last the, one, the, just no, whatever. No, she didn't watch that, but watch the video she's where you guys break, uh, she's grandpa she's, Ron's TV. Yeah. And she's like, well, I saw the video and, and so that's his, their grandpa, right? I kind of can see it, you know, growing up around him, you're going to. He, he had to have influenced him yeah. in some way, and yep. I definitely think he did for sure. Yeah, um, our drinking so problem so comes funny. from too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. He will walk into his place at I mean, whatever time. Nothing crazy early, but he's you like, "Boys want a beer?" Hey, Rona's. He's always got bottled beers too. Yeah, like, love that. <laughs> yeah, he has. Stuff. He ha always has a mixed up full carton of a screwdriver. So half so vodka, you're ready to go. half vodka, half orange juice. Really? Yeah, he always has a carton of that mixed up in his fridge honestly though like if we could be 
if we are even like half of as, as like cool as Grandpa Ron, we would have so many friends because <laughs> everyone just wants to hang out with him. Yeah, man, it's he's funny. So funny. Well, we've met so many of his friends just because he's always, hey, you gotta Wheeling meet and this, dealing, and yeah. I'll get a ride out to your shop from my buddy Lenny and. And yo, oh, you guys love Lenny. Oh, I can't wait to introduce you to Lenny. He's good shit. <laughs> yeah. They walk in and Grandpa, hey, this is hey, boys. This is Lenny. Lenny, boys, that's my grandson and CJ and Ben. Oh, stay clear. These are mother. These little fuckers. They they'll take advantage of you. No, I'm not, I'm just oh, yeah, come on. He's so no, quick, dude. No. And he's just, anybody yeah. need their teeth pulled? He's yeah, a dentist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a dentist. And then Lenny's standing there, just like, man, I feel bad for you guys. You got to deal with this. Chip bag and yeah. grandpa's like, oh, says you, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's something. It's so funny. It'll be like us when we're old, probably. Hopefully. I hope we're like that. That'd be cool. It'll be the best. It's really funny, though, because Grandpa Ron drinks alcohol like a fish. Or I guess, well, he told me at CJ he doesn't drink as much anymore, but loves beer. Well, every, always been, and he told me he likes anything. anything. Yeah, drink doesn't anything. Matter. He'll drink anything. But for the longest time, we always looked at like our other grandpa as like the healthy, healthy one. And, uh, and then because he's like a chiropractor, he takes really good care of himself. Right. Mm -hmm. Then we've got like, grandpa Ron over here. Screens, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Has a really good diet. Doesn't drink any alcohol. And we got grandpa Ron over here drinking beer. You know, he doesn't care what he eats and all this stuff. And dude, he's crushing it for being 80. That's still yeah, playing good. golf, still going on road trips, hopping up in our big ass truck. Like, I was serious. So yeah, he does I felt not bad look for him because he had to ride with us in our. We had the Ram, but even the Ram is like that's to the hard. Point where the Ram's it's harder so to get into. It's hard. I yeah. would say it's almost. And he harder had to like jump no out step. of it and get back in. I was like, God dang. Mm -hmm. I, I yeah, but I mean, he took it like champ. He didn't even care. Dang. I should have well, I should have gave a pull in my GTR, but I, I don't know. Great. He doesn't well, really like driving fast. You should do that and film it because I still think his reaction will be great. I will. I'll go do that. He'll be. I should do a pull with my mom. You guys yeah. ever see the video when the I Maverick? That was the, it was so, so bad good. that it was just like too mm. much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where she was like so terrified Stop! that it. Stop! That, <laughs> was, that was a lot. That was kind of hard to watch. Yeah, was it was like, like oh, her God. reaction was so extreme that it wasn't even funny, and that was not fake. No, it was just her no. just being. Scared I cut shitless. most of it because I was like, this is just hard to watch. Yeah. So uh, man, we should have Grandpa Ron on the podcast. That I would love that. Ron's Ron's special. It'd be tough because no one really Ron's knows special. who he is. No, I That's, know it would just be like, does it matter? It'd be funny, but I, I think at the same time he would do so well. I don't think it. I don't think it matters because he'd be so. He'd tell funny yeah. stories about when we were kids. He's got so many stories. I don't know so how he stories. can remember all this stuff. I don't even remember so what, what I, I was did this thinking. morning, I, dude. Like, um, what's like a funny story you guys got? That's like something crazy. Not a lot of people know. Wow, that is so. Very vague, but vague. <laughs> so like, what's the first thing that comes to your mind of something you did? Or something that happened, you know, whenever. I got a pretty good one, I'll tell you, and then okay. we can build off this. So, and I'll keep it short. When I was in the ninth grade, I used to always go over to my friend Jason's house. He doesn't mind me telling. He's he's good good stuff. We would all stay there. We didn't drink or do anything. We would just play video games or whatever. But at night, we, for some reason, or maybe it was eighth grade. I don't know. It might have been younger, probably younger than ninth. But for some reason, it was fun. To sneak out the window. Maybe it was seventh. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. We were young. Matter. Young enough where you didn't have a car. So you'd hop out the window. We'd hop out the window. We'd always plan until like two in the morning for some reason. And we'd like get out. And, and he lived uh, in Fargo. And it was just a town. And um, we would go and walk around on the street. And it was fun. And we never vandalized anything or did anything wrong. But we'd just walk. And it was really fun because there would always be cops and stuff. Okay. And, he, and, every, and we were young enough where we were past curfew. So we'd have to lay down in the grass <laughs> or like you'd see a car coming. You'd go and hide. Yeah. And it was just exhilarating. And anyways, uh, we were going to our other friend's house. His name was Logan. I bleep one of those parts. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we were uh, going to like scare him or something. We were going to knock on his window and troll him. So me, him, and our friend Isaac... Go walking across, the, like, a long ways. It took us a long time to get there. And we start knocking. We're going to go knock on his window and hopefully scare him or something. I don't know. Classic. But his dog was outside. His dog started barking. Like, the light turned on. We take off tearing. We tear off. So, we're like, all right, we're going home. Okay. We're done for the night. We're walking across this busy street, literally standing in the dead center of an intersection with lights. The road is dead. 
and we turn and look to our right, there's a cop. And he's just sitting there looking <laughs> right at us. And we look at him, and it just pauses. Time stops. Time and, stops. like, we were kind of right here, and he was, like, right here. And I just see him turn his wheel, like, right at us. But he's still sitting. He goes, <laughs> and we all just go, run! <laughs> and we take off running. So we go tearing off. And uh, there's this soccer field over here. And there's, like, this library and then these, like, ghetto apartments. A guy had just gotten shot there a week prior. And we go tearing off in this field. He's tearing off behind us. He's got his lights on. Uh, he had, like, a lights mic. Lights on? Yeah, he had his lights on. He had a microphone. I don't know why he was going so hard on us. Just one of those one of those cops. But also, at the same time, we probably looked pretty guilty of whatever we were doing, being that we were running. Um, so we go tearing off. We get to this field. And he, his tires were squealing, dude. Like, <laughs> And he goes, hey, stop right there. And we get in this field, and we go, dive. And we dive down, and we're laying with the grass. We got our hoods up, boom, boom. And it's this big soccer field. Pretty soon, all I see is a spotlight. I'm, like, looking back. Spotlight comes on. He's got one of those little things on his mirror. And it's like, <laughs> I love when CJ tells this story, and he gets to the flashlight part. That's and my favorite part. It's, like, going across the field. And then we all, like, look down. It, like, goes past for a second, and then it goes, <laughs> right back. and we stand we're like run and we get up and we start running and for some reason jason's legs stop working because he was so scared and he like gets up <laughs> like falls gets up falls gets, and okay so maybe that makes movies point. a little more it realistic. was hilarious it was hilarious he couldn't walk to save his life he was falling you all know over the place. people in movies when they're <laughs> running away i'm like why did you fall now you're like gonna get stabbed yeah but they get so scared their legs stop working so then there's like these townhomes and the cop just goes ah! Like, apparently that guy didn't want to run after us. I don't know. Lazy. Um, <laughs> anyways, he goes, puts the pedal to the floor. does, like, a perfect don't. Like, it was pretty sweet. Like, that thing had to have been rear-wheel drive. It was like, <laughs> and he tears off, and there's these uh, townhomes right here and a road that runs right next to it, and we're on the back side of it. And it's like, he starts driving next to us pretty soon. He's like, <laughs> and there's cars, and we're running. And then I go, turn, and we turn this way, and we start running this way we, we probably ran a mile and we ended up getting away and uh that was like a crazy moment i guess <clears throat> wow yeah. and, and we got house. we got to the house and jace and i were tweaking like oh my god because because we we got back and i was all happy and jason goes he's kind of a paranoid guy he's like the, the cameras there's cameras on the street lights we are done we're done <laughs> like they know us like we were we were all wearing our high school sweatshirts and stuff and I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, it was like I was here, and then I was back here. <laughs> and Isaac could not have cared less. He went inside and slept like a baby. And I'm, and I'm not kidding you. He had a small smile on his face. While he was, he was, I'm dead ass serious. He was sleeping like this. Like a baby. And Jason and I stayed up all night just Googling, if you run from the police and you get away, but they have you on camera, can you still get in trouble? And we're, it's like. Did you're looking at two years in jail, like all this stuff, you know, when we're just like, we are in so much trouble. You imagine and they're wa Fargo PD is watching this right now. We got him. We got him. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, got him. so I go back to school and I was all worried because we were wearing our school sweatshirts that they were just, if they actually had the cameras, but they probably didn't even care uh, that they were going to go to this high school and be like, Hey, we have these pictures of these kids wearing day. Who is it? And they'd be like, that's them. <laughs> but never happened. Got away with it. Didn't so, tell anyone. Didn't tell anyone at school. We had like a pack. Like, we can't tell anyone because <laughs> people start talking. They're going to, you know. Rat us out. Rat us out. And we kept our lips sealed. And now I'm on this podcast telling it to however many people. Know. <laughs> I always remember if that happens, if it's like your first offense. Granted, you guys were running. He had his yeah, lights on, right, dude. It was saying. full on running. They usually just go like, what hey, are you doing out? Right and then they put you in the back of their car. It really and bring wouldn't you have home. been that yeah, big of a deal. Been but nice. You could have gotten a ride. But it's we still got in trouble, though. It's we would have gotten in trouble because it would have had to bring us to our house. Our parents would have gotten woken up. Yeah. We would have gotten in trouble. Would have been a whole deal. Uh, but obviously, once you started running, now we're facing a whole nother thing. Right. You're committed. We risked it and we got away with it. <laughs> risked it for the biscuit. Do you guys remember that feeling of like being a kid? And you do something wrong the night before, and it might be as small as like sneaking out. I know. And that feeling when you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, I Dude. hope. Or or if you just got in trouble, just anything. whatever, and you just know your parents are mad at my you. My mom came. The worst feeling. My mom had to pick me up, and I had like an hour of sleep because I was tweaking all night, Googling, trying to figure out what was going to happen to us. 
And she comes to pick us up, pick me up, and I had to go wherever we were going that day. And she was like, "What's wrong? Didn't get much sleep. Probably thought I was like out drinking. Like, I really no. wasn't doing anything bad besides for out walking around. And then we ran from the cops. <laughs> but yeah, literally, <laughs> it was one cop. But yeah, screw that guy. Honestly, that Dude, feeling. So. It's like get. It could be anything. Getting in trouble, mm-hmm. doing anything, and you just genuinely feel like. That's why also kids will do dumb things to cover up. That's the worst. Oh, you know, they'll, so they'll, they'll cover up and they'll get deeper. And then when it's all uncovered, which usually happens and usually doesn't take very long, they look like a big fat yeah. idiot. I mean, mm-hmm. Dude, everyone, when you were a kid, would lie. Mm-hmm. You know, like you just would lie for no reason. It's so yeah. dumb. Yeah. So you dumb. Were scared of. And then one day you just get, well, you were probably getting caught all along, but you get caught and you're at the age where you're like, what am I doing? This is embarrassing. Mm-hmm. And then you're just flat out embarrassed. And then you're like, I'm done lying. And you stop lying. Mm-hmm. Some people don't do that, and they just keep lying, and they're fucking twenty-three. Shoot, dude! God dang it, dude! How many <laughs> shots is this? Five, Three, four. Oh, yeah, you're right. oh, I didn't even hear that. I didn't. One. I didn't even think about it either. But yes. how am I the only one having to take these? Dude? <laughs> you're the only one. You got a potty mouth. Has a potty mouth. CJ, I'm pretty good. I think I'm. Uh, I'm pretty good at catching myself. I don't swear <laughs> around kids. I don't swear around kids. I never swear I don't, around kids. I don't kids. hang around kids. <laughs> I don't talk to them either. I was just like, well, when but kids are, yeah, me, I was yeah. like, we get kids around us all the time. My go to, my go to when like a young kid comes up to me in like a store or wherever I'm at, and they're clearly little, like elementary school. I always <laughs> you can go, tell by the way that they aren't a full grown. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, you can I always tell go they're little by me offering them a I, beer. I'm and not they don't good at it. knowing how age is, but I can that's tell they're true. young. It's hard to tell. I go, "What are you in? Oh, that's Junior, senior funny. in high school?" <laughs> and they go, "First grade." <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> really? Like, what? You, are you, you got to be me? what? 18, what are you, 16, 17? A and the mom's always thing. sitting there like. Smiling, they think just it's laughing. funny. It's just my goat. I need to come up with something new. <laughs> but, but yeah, my cousin is a math teacher, and she texted me this week, and she goes, "Hey, I've had to tell three kids to stop watching your podcast during class. So can you talk about math?" And I was like, "No, because that'd be awful, and I don't know how to teach that." Two plus two is four. But she's talk gonna love math. this if she comes in. She's like, "What are they doing now? Swearing and drinking?" Quit oh, lying, man, lying. <laughs> and quit swearing, kids. Yeah, that's true. There's a lesson in all <laughs> There's this. There's a lesson. It's good quality educational content. Dude, I did not want to do this one, honestly. Like, I had stuff to do after this. Right, now and I'm, it's... Now I'm just... Also, I, just... That's might as well like, count that out. Full-blown, that's purebred, just crown. That's nothing it's like... Not light, you know? No, it's, it's just gross. So I'd say once you're four or five in... Uh, uh. I'll be driving you to dinner tonight. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm losing that my own. I mean, I can believe that, but I just can't believe I'm the only one who's had to they suffer the consequences of my own game. Yeah. But well, at the end, when we wrap this up, I'll take one with you. But CJ's like, well, I don't want to take anymore. Ben got through it by just, uh, imitating Grandpa Ron. Yeah. After you guys start doing, yeah, just yeah. talk as Grandpa Ron for the rest of the podcast and you swear all you want. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said one time. <laughs> yeah. I just used him as a total crutch. It's like I'm itching. I'm like a heroin addict. <laughs> You guys ever did you ever ever gone Omegle or is it Omegle or Omegle? Yeah. Um, oh, and talk to strangers. It was so weird. Yeah, dude. It was I mean, always I, just old guys. I guess off. I just had to. to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what yeah. it was. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait so you wait, didn't? Wait, wait. If Let's you unpack that a little if, bit. If you don't know that, which, hold up. Then if you, you don't know that, then you never went on it. Yeah. Wait, that. You never you went actually on it. talked to old guys. You don't that talk to them. No, no, you skip them. them. Well, they'd skip you, bro. Yeah. They didn't want to see you. Yeah, true. Oh. I don't know they what their point was. Okay. Dude. It was so boy. weird. It would have been when I was in like sixth grade. Yeah, I was in YouTube sixth grade. wasn't yep. like super popping. You would play like addicting games, or you would go Classic. to cool there was games. there was a cool lot of games. different websites where you could go to watch videos or play games, or you would if your friend I never had one had a web. A webcam. Okay. So it was like this little cam you buy at Best Buy for like 20 bucks and you set it on top of your computer. Mm-hmm. And then you could go on these random chat room websites and it's just random. Um, there was just mo- talk to strangers? It was so dumb. It was fun it? though if you, if you would like run into, I don't know why it was fun, but for some reason if, if you ran into like a group of girls that were your age, it was be like, stoked. It, you'd be stoked. Grand, you're never going to meet gonna these say, people in your people life. did you have to go through to get to a That's group of girls? That's the thing. Oftentimes, you'd end up just skipping through a bunch of guys jacking off. Yeah, a lot of dicks. Yeah. I don't even know if it's still a thing. It was, no, it was weird. Well, it is, and that's what I was kind of leading into. Get to your into. story. So, it <laughs> How is do you most, know they were jerking off? 
You saw their dick. It's a vi- Full blown they're light. just live. Just it's just right on their dick. And jerking hand. off. Obviously, no. You were too no young. Face. You no were face. too young to oh, probably no even. Face. No, sometimes they'd sometimes. be on yeah, it. Sometimes they'd yeah. like be be jerking it, and you'd pop on. You'd be like, and, and they'd be they'd, they'd like stop for a second, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then one of you would be like. <laughs> I'd have to agree. The ones no that they way. put their face in is just like it makes it extra weird because they see you, you see them. Dude, um, dude people used to make, like catch a charge from. You know that, what we though. should do? We should all dress up as police officers and go on it. Ow! And Holy once we get to it, we got them. Yep. Yeah, and oh just say that. God. You just start trolling people. So you probably anyway. can't hold them long enough to get a. Then no, get out of there, know. turn their computer off, throw it in the river. They at least skip a, it. At least quit some jacking off to fourteen-year-old girls on Omegle. Yeah. Right. And that's the other I crazy thing. So it's like, themselves. so let's say however old we were at the time, 14, 15, like dudes is one thing, but girls like to go on it too. I wouldn't necessarily, necessarily say alone, but they would go on there as groups. It was always, sorry. Can you stop <laughs> chewing into the mic? Well, no, I'm no, five eating five on the eat. What's he eating? He's got the munchies. What'd you just eat? Trail mix? <laughs> you got trail mix? That Wait, quit interrupting okay. Mike's story. Sorry. So, so you can still use... It was a use, group thing, though. I think now it's starting to get bigger, in my opinion. And so people go really? on Omegle and stream, but they go on there, and now they can have better mics, better setups, better cameras. And so I just came across... I'm going to go with him first, but he's a YouTuber. His name is The Do. I think he normally games, but I came across him because he's a guitar player, and it's so impressive. He's easily, like, one of the best guitar players I've ever seen. If you want, if Ken could pull it up, it's like incredibly impressive. I have a question. Did you come across him on Omegle? I didn't. No, I don't use Omegle, but it's just. Mike was just on yesterday. It was, <laughs> so it's on also Omegle. interesting. Just talking to random people. Were like, hey, what so let me doing? get to know you a little bit. <laughs> it was a bummer because, uh, yeah, I was jacking off and he didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> he skipped through me really fast. So yeah. I didn't get to hear him play yeah. that much. So he plays guitar. I'm like, oh, this guy must play guitar. He goes on Omegle and then impresses the shit out of people. However, a bunch of people recognize him. Like, I mean, obviously he only puts the best ones in his videos, but a bunch of people are like, no, 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 no way. No, no, no. Don't skip. Don't skip. Are you the do? And then he'll be like, ah, yeah, maybe. And they're like, no way. No way. Dude, I can't believe. Can you play me a song? And they're just like stoked. And I'm like, okay, this guy must be a big deal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was like. And then I started looking at all of his other content, and he he only plays guitar. Like, he only drops his guitar Omegle video, like, once a month, maybe. He's mostly playing games. Play, he's one of those YouTubers that are streamers or whatever. He plays games, and he says the most offensive, like, jokes. Like, he's, like, oh. Justin dark meme-type okay. jokes. Yeah. And it's just all this stuff they're saying, I cannot believe that they're even, like, saying this. And then I realize that they don't show their face. Guys, um, I think we're really on to something. We get police costumes. That's pretty funny. And we try to catch them, but then we try to hold them up. We're like, don't skip. Otherwise, your sentence is going to be worse. <laughs> yeah. And then we wait, we wait, just hold can, them. Can you get in trouble for impersonating Not when you're doing officer. something like that. You're, you're doing a good deed. <laughs> Community worker. Okay. I mean, it's not this one, but this is him. And why okay, is she on? That's a pretty good looking girl to be on Omega. This seems I, yeah, fake. There's, that's like what you want to run into when fake. you were a kid. Why would a good looking girl like that ever just hop on Omega? I don't know. They're You'd weird. Be surprised. Are people actually lacking human interactions that much that they want to just go and talk to random dudes with the chance of seeing a guy <laughs> They probably it? like I, that it's too. It's mostly, Who knows? it's not, I don't think it's necessarily either to talk with people. It's to be entertained because there's more, you know, people on there just it's entertaining just, people. So many people have so much time, especially when you're a young kid. Yeah, but I, she's not young. I would. She's like 20. Yeah. Three. I would love. She's looking she's for love. Tax paying citizen. I um, love some sound. Yeah, on this. this is totally yeah. fake. She's uh, way too good looking to be on. Okay, well then that's just. But they're not fake. That this one might be, but they're not usually. Okay, what about Harry Mack? Okay, that well, dude I was gonna. Is yeah, so, I was gonna so bring talented. him up. I know you guys have heard of, of him before. Harry Mack. I mean, we didn't really get to find out about the dude, but like, really, who cares? Whatever. That last video just had twenty thousand comments. Wow. With so one point seven million views. So he has all these like comments. if you laugh at this video, seek help and they like play games and do just the stuff they get just away with. Random saying. stuff these but people do. It's him and his like let's say three buddies. None of them ever show their face ever in, in their entire career basically of YouTube. They never yeah. ever show their face because if they did, they would be like they've said so like oh. the, the worst you know, dead Cancel. baby jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. that. So they never show yeah, their whole face. Career off it Dude, right. looking at the views, he should just only do guitar videos. I think it's hard because it takes them a while to compile it. All right, where's the double like guitar one? Views, five yeah. million, four million. 
it's is probably it pretty hard million? with all the dicks he has to see. Dude, you know how easy that'd be? If you were someone who faked your stuff, you'd just be like, all right, I need a good-looking girl to go on Omega. We'll, we'll skip through until I get to you. Yeah, like, look at that and one. And we'll make a oh, quick little good. clip, and it'll go viral, and I'll make Do we have sound, though? X amount of dollars, and I'll give you a little bit. Like, this setup seems real. 25 million views. All right, turn it up. Dude, then just people just freak, which I could see why if you came across him, you'd be like stoked. And he can play anything. They say play Juice World, play this solo of this song. And he could never have heard the song before ever, and he just listens to it and then he plays it. I don't understand how. I was gonna say I, I wondered if he was also faking the guitar. I but mean there's no way he no. could get all these guitar clips. Like right. this one he could because he's just picking one. But when someone's like, play Juice World," Yeah. And then Yo. he just rips it. Just an interesting way to make content. Go on there. Get people's reactions. Obviously, he's incredibly talented. But it's, it seems like he mostly plays video games. But also Harry Mack, a freestyle rapper, which I, you, if you just haven't seen him, you just got to go check him out. His own Omegle stuff is my favorite. He just go. They give him three random words, and he just raps and raps and raps and raps and goes and, and goes. And he's so good. How so, is he not like, so? why doesn't he just start making music? Because he's like, I don't really want to make songs. I make a ton of money staying on YouTube and freestyling. He's like, I money. like freestyling. He's like, I don't want to be signed by record because everyone on Omegle is like, dude, you're insane. How do you not have a record deal yet? He's like, I don't really want that. Yeah. And hmm. So it's just wild that he's just yeah. like, yep, I'm just going to stay streaming and uploading on YouTube. And like, that's his thing. I but just he saw totally a video could. of him today actually on my Instagram. But he dude impresses. You, yeah, if you haven't amazing. seen Harry Mack, you got to yeah. check I him out. I love it because when he goes up to the people... He's like, hey, uh, can I freestyle for you guys? And they'll be like, uh, yeah, they see. Yeah, it. sure, I guess. Yeah. You know, it's like every, you Part know, the reaction you just I would assume have. Yeah. it's like a waste of your time and yep. it's going to be garbage. And then he gets going and you can just see their face turn around. And that's the best crap. part. Yeah. Because he'll say, give me, but he, it's so random. He goes, give me a word or give me a couple Three words. words. Yeah. And then he'll just do it. And he'll go for minutes. My it's favorite like a full is when song. he uses those three words and then makes a, a chorus. Like he'll use the three words, rhyme them all, do the chorus, then rip a bunch of verses, then go back to the chorus all off the top of his head. Yeah, man. It's uh, insane mu talent. Musicians are insanely talented people. Even mm -hmm. people that can just shred on the guitar. It's like, dude, that that is an art that takes so much time. Yeah. I feel you got to be a so certain much, type of person. So much respect yeah. for it. Could've and I feel you, like, dude. dude, it could have been me. Except for you fell off that <laughs> yeah, piano. It could have. Oh yeah, that. Yeah. Your parents took the piano away from yeah, you. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. No, actually, though, I took piano lessons for like eight years. I don't know if you oh, guys' really? parents made you take piano lessons when you were they, a kid. They did. <clears throat> kind of wish I took they would have. A long time. I think I quit maybe when I was like fifteen or sixteen. And, uh, dude, I never, ever got better because I never practiced. Yes, yeah, dude. Practice. I took piano lessons for eight. Or 10 years, and I can't play the piano. I wonder, <laughs> dude, I wonder like, if we went to the same person. That's awesome. Did you go to Doris? Yes. You did? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so Doris, I had to go. To, I went to her, too. Doris was your piano teacher? Yes. She was and like 95 fitting. years she old. She was extremely Pink old. Hair. Very, very nice. Um, she lived in the trailer park. And for me, I didn't like it because... I would have hockey practice after, and I was a little kid. I didn't want to go to piano, and I didn't want to go to hockey. And my parents would make me go to both. It was like I'd go to school all day, which sucked. I'd come home, all the other kids were, like, getting to play or do whatever they want. And I'd have to put my hockey gear on and then go to piano because it was such a tight. So I had to practice piano in my what? hockey gear. Please what? tell me there's yes. a picture. Please tell me there's a picture. I didn't they want you to break your one. arm. No, they, yeah. <laughs> no that was, was before Ben. Me. He might not even That's Wait, born. hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Skates and all? No, um, not, not skates. No, I think I would have my lower half on. Why? You could just slip that on, I feel well, like. Well, when you're a little kid, like I was little, little, like I was probably first grade or, or maybe even kindergarten, and it your parent had to dress you in your hockey gear. And I would be extremely hot, and I would also get like an itch, but I had all these pads on. I think I had my skates on. And it would drive me nuts. I didn't want to be there I at can piano. Imagine. And then I didn't want to go to hockey. It was a great way of like getting used to doing stuff you don't want to do. Dude. Yeah, piano, I told him like I'm done. And then I, I settled for playing hockey. 
It was one or the other for sure. Which I did end up liking as I got older. I just hated it as a little as kid. A kid. That's just one of those things. Like either you like doing it or you don't. And if you don't like doing it, you're I just think they not saw that. Get better they at saw it. that when yeah. we had the piano recital, and I picked the easiest song to do. They had like a, a full church full of people <laughs> that probably didn't want to be there. And I had to go up there and play a song, and I chose the easiest song. It was two keys. It was two black cats. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. A whole crowd had to listen to me. But do I bet that. you I'm shredded that applaud. shit. Yeah. I bet you absolutely had a, the crowd on their feet, standing ovation. <sighs> She's like, I, I, I'm over here thinking, Dude, you know, hot cross buns. They were like, like that's they were the trying easiest to, song you can play on the piano. They were trying to talk me out of like, they're like, well, well how about take me out to the ball field or whatever, you know. <laughs> Like change? Uh, nope. I just wanted to do the easiest little thing. Two black cats. I got out two of there. Cats. Two black cats. That I, I could still play it to this day. Well, maybe because it's so easy. Talented, <laughs> I don't know. CJ. Talented musicians that can just pick up. They can sing. They can play the guitar, the bass, piano. Man, it's so impressive. That's a tough industry too. If you want to become a musician, my brother tried doing it out in like L.A. and traveling and getting gigs and doing all that for like. A long time and he was really really talented mm -hmm. you know but just didn't never had like a lucky break some people just get one lucky break and that's all it takes and you have to put in like eight years to just get that one lucky break yeah yep. that one thing pop yeah. off and then the rest of it clicks because like clearly the talent's all there mm -hmm. yeah. it's not like you just progressively get a little bit better and better and better and finally they're like oh they're, oh you reach the point yeah, where you reach you're, the point you're where at our level now and right. you're a part of it so that's how it goes. There's so many people that are so good at something that haven't just, been discovered yet. Yeah. So if you can think outside of the box, that's another way to get big. Or, yeah, there's the classic go to Nashville. Yeah. Try to become a country yeah. singer. Yeah. Well, not, yeah. And you most play at a bunch country, of bars. But, yeah. And, and you make probably just do it. 400 bucks a night or maybe not. I don't even know. I, yeah, guess, I don't but, know how much yeah. they, they but get it's, paid. It's but it's a small amount for probably what they're worth. It's cool. We got a, we've talked about twin sick before, but we got a couple of DJ buddies that like, it's cool to see them. That's just how it starts. They literally get their DJ equipment and then hopefully they can maybe make a song or two of their own, or at least try making their own music. And then it's like, they get really crappy gigs. Like they're literally playing in the corner of a bar on a Thursday night and then they get better gigs and then they get better gigs. And next thing you know, they're freaking Steve Aoki playing it. Right. Well, you got to work <laughs> yeah. your way up. There's levels to everything. Yeah. yeah. It always seems so hard. Each step seems hard, but then you look back and you're like, man, I'm sure glad I did all of those things. Yeah. If you do anything for three to five years and you consistently do it, and I mean consistent, like you're doing this thing week after week. You're not yeah. just doing it like once or to twice a year. Like, I mean, you're consistently doing it. You're going to get better. It doesn't matter what it is. Mm -hmm. You might not even, it could be like me trying to play piano. I probably cannot, I would never be a good piano player. But if I did it every week consistently, I worked piano. on it every every two days. I played the piano for an hour or two. I'd probably end up being pretty sure. decent. My siblings, I was the youngest child of three, and I was always that kid that just didn't have anything. I had nothing like going my way or for me. Sam was had his music, and Natalie, she's like, she was really good singer, and she was going to go an pro insane golfer. golfer. Yeah. She did. She yeah. she was yeah. a pro golfer. And then there me was and you, me, me and <laughs> well, you, but thankfully, also like, thankfully I had CJ. But um, well, yeah, you're sitting. We there were like, just well, like the average. I like, got this dirt bike. What else do I? Wasn't got? even that. I we was were just, just messing. No, around that's, doing what thing. that's what I'm saying. You were like, all I do is. Puts around with CJ on our dirt bikes or whatever, like whatever you guys Dude, did. We didn't do anything. But we just, or, I mean, we did a lot of stuff. Some but days like we would watch TV all day, like and some days we would go scooter all day, <laughs> and <laughs> other days we would ride dirt bikes all day. It was just far. Some days we'd play video games all day. It was like whatever so, you wanted to do. It that was day. so random. There was nothing like about us that you were just like these guys. Yeah, <laughs> you know that's his point, I guess. When you're growing up, and people watching this right now might feel like they don't have their thing. Mm -hmm. Or they're compared to their siblings or their, their dad or their mom is so successful and you're compared to that. And you feel like you have nothing going for you or you feel like you're not special in any way. That shit comes with time. You might be so surprised to find out what works for you that you never saw coming and nobody mm -hmm. else did. Yeah. Because I guarantee nobody... <laughs> In our family, thought me and CJ were gonna be 
the ones. YouTubers and the ones. <laughs> the ones to do something like not that we're anything special, but I'm not yeah, saying that, that we but would like, even yeah. have like, like I mean millions of people that right. want to watch us mm-hmm. dick around. And I think most of our family probably still doesn't understand what it is about right. us. But um, yeah, I would say like the people that just feel that way because I I'm a assu- I'm sure a lot of you do. Um, just know like that. That's not who you are forever. And, well, and, uh, and but you you got to take that in your own initiative. You have to put yourself out there, try new things. And even if you think you have really? your thing, you could say like, oh, like my thing is this. You still got to try new things. I think it's very important. Definitely. Sorry. But, but yeah. don't beat yourself up over it. Yeah, mm-hmm. 100%. Exactly. 100%. All Just right. Keep on keeping on. On that note, uh, I'm going to do one. Oh, Should just, we all do a I'm shot? I'm just gonna do one to celebrate. Dude, I can't not do swearing. anymore. I'm done. I have stuff. <laughs> Come on, I need one, to do. One, more. one more. I'm not gonna be able to drive. Do, you know what? I can't drive Fuck right it, now. Dude. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, all right. Funny. Fuck. All right. Fine, I'll take one. I don't give. I don't care. That felt good. Been holding that one in. I cannot believe you guys made it the whole podcast. Cheers. We don't have Cheers. potty mouths. Yeah, I only brought one <laughs> shot glass because I just figured like only one person would swear at a time. That's Ben's verdict on how the crown tastes. This is not good. I know. <laughs> but neither is like... Alcohol. I don't know Just if it's that bad, apple. but but I mean, anything straight isn't good. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you guys want a good drink at home and you're over the age of 21, do a crown lemonade. Ryan? <clears throat> yeah, you ain't wrong on that. CJ got us on that because it's just dang good. Crown lemonade is amazing. And if you are oh, like really one. not into... Like harsh drinks, do a crown apple lemonade, mm-hmm. and they're amazing. I know a lot of people did the beer moses, the orange juice, and the mm-hmm. and the beer, and they'll send me them on like weekdays in the morning. I'll always have in my weekdays. message in my message request. I'll go through and I'll see like a tr- beer mosa, you know. And it's funny. Good job, Ryan. All right, I gotta go call my mom. All right, last one. <laughs> oh, we are getting one from him. You this is swear, good. You I'm not swearing. I'm trying to be better. If you made it to the end of the podcast. <laughs> I don't have a potty mouth. Right. I'm just an alcoholic. That's it. Like, we love you guys. Subscribe. Yeah, thank you so much. Check out the main channel if you haven't. I'm sure you have. <laughs> I doubt anyone's listening to this. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, like, They're like, what? what? You guys have a main channel? There's more of these guys? <laughs> what? I don't know why I said that. Yo, if you don't watch our main videos and you only watch the podcast, comment down yeah. below because I want to see that. Is that possible? All right, peace.